Hello, and welcome to the Company of Heroes 3 co-development program. My name is David Littman. I'm the executive producer of Company of Heroes 3. From all of the Company of Heroes 3 team at Relic, thank you for joining our community co-development program. You're about to experience our pre-alpha preview, a very early glimpse at part of our new single-player campaign. Of course, the full Company of Heroes 3 campaign will take place on a much grander scale than what you will be experiencing in the pre-alpha preview. It's important to mention that this is not an early access build or a polished marketing demo. We've created this as a free and focused hands-on experience to get your feedback on specific new features that are early in development. Because we are still pre-alpha, this preview does not represent the final game content, quality, or performance. So expect some rough edges. It's a long road to victory, and we intend to get there with your help and feedback. You'll have access to numerous missions in occupied Italy, dynamic skirmish battles, and you'll go hands-on with our new turn-based dynamic campaign map. Your mission starts in the port town of Naples. You'll be fighting to secure control of surrounding cities and resources with the ultimate goal of capturing Monte Cassino. We encourage you to try out different tactics and battle plans with each playthrough, and we'd love to get your feedback from the in-game survey. For all of you multiplayer fans, just a quick note to say that we are planning another early hands-on experience focused purely on PvP and co-op, so stay tuned. We're really looking forward to seeing you on the co-development forums over at companyofheroes.com, so have fun and thank you for helping us make Company of Heroes 3 the best game it can be. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be playing a new game. Uh, this is uh, Company of Heroes 3. And uh, it's currently in pre-alpha uh, preview. Uh, it probably came out just uh, yesterday or the day before. Um, so, unfortunately I cannot guarantee like a smooth gameplay or no crash or something. So we're just gonna have a look like the game mechanics, the story setting, available units, like the general gameplay. So first of all, let's just start with a uh, new campaign. In Company of Heroes 3, no two playthroughs are the same. You can choose to recreate or rewrite history. The Italian campaign begins with a decision, where to start. This time, the player chose to start on two fronts. Landing at Taranto, the player used the power of the Indian Artillery Company and their devastating weaponry to crush any opposition. The player also attempted to land at Salerno with their American company, but they came up against tough resistance from the Germans. In response, the player chose to deploy their British armored here to support the offensive. Finally, they broke through the German defense, which gave them a powerful presence in Italy. Partisan forces joined the Allied efforts, sabotaging bridges to prevent German retreats. The player took advantage of this by using the Air Force to drop a special operations company behind the trapped enemy. The next objective is to secure Naples, and this is where you come in. Okay, we've been briefed. Uh, we'll be uh, participating in the assault uh, onto Naples. So left click to select a company, a company or detachment. Right click to move, capture objectives, or attack enemy units. Movement points determine movement range. Action points are spent to attack or perform actions or abilities. Resource convoys deliver manpower, fuel, and munitions every three days. Dude, I, I'm not finished yet. Come on. Commander, Naples is under attack. German planes are using Pomigliano airfield to launch bombing runs over the port. We must capture that airfield. Okay, let's see. Choose a battle plan. This battle plan will determine starting condition to support your strategy and play style for this operation. So, American plan, build for 
a strong initial push to break out of Naples before the Germans can really dig in. Companies and detachments are built for offensive and mobility, and bonus resources are given for early support call-ins. So bonus is our first airborne company with rifle detachment, first special ops company with engineer detachment, bonus starting munitions, one naval destroyer. Okay, British plan, a defensive plan built to secure territories around Naples and prepare before striking German defense defensive lines. Companies and detachments are made to dig in and additional supply shipments will mean more resources in the long term. So uh, bonus will be uh, one British Army company with separate detachment, one Indian rifle, uh, artillery company with motor detachment. Uh, bonus resource on all three day supply shipments, two naval destroyers. So combined uh, plan will be uh, built for around balance and variety by working uh, equally with partisans Navy and Air Force, we will have enough tools at our disposal to deal with any threat the Germans throw at us. So bonus will be one UK armored company with any armored detachment, one US airborne company with engineer detachment, bonus starting manpower and partisan relations. So with one destroyers. I say uh Let's uh, do. Let's try out the American battle plan. Welcome to pre-alpha preview tutorial. Over a few turns of play, we're going to cover the basics of what you need to know to play our new dynamic campaign map. Camera control is locked for now, but will be unlocked after the tutorial. More info can be found by clicking the question mark in the top right of the screen. Please close the, this window to start. Okay, left click this company. Right click to move here. Right click to attack this detachment. Selected this, this destroyer and right click for bombardment. Can be requisitioned requisition from ports. Select Naples and requisition a rifle detachment. It takes units multiple days to be requisitioned, but units all produce simultaneously. Once completed, they arrive next to the port. They were requisitioned from close this window to return to the game. Okay, the next day. So. Rifle squad awaiting orders. Detachments are specialized unit on the campaign map. They can participate in campaign map combat and support companies entering missions. They cannot trigger missions on their own but can capture locations if there are no occupying forces. Relaxed and loaded. Okay, move them. Closer to the enemy right, HMG detachment. Stay alert.
Okay, they are currently being su uh, suppressed. Suppression is an uh, status effect indicated by the yellow triangle icon. The effect temporarily removes two movement points and decreases attack potential. These effects last until the end of the day and can be stacked, pinning the detachment or uh, company in place. Companies and detachments can also take advantage of terrain types like this town. Okay, select this company, move him into the town. Okay, attack this detachment. This company will receive a defensive bonus from the terrain and supporting fire from the rifle detachment. This info can be seen by hovering the, over this enemy detachment and holding a uh, patrol. An enemy company is occupying uh, the airfield. Attacking locations occupied by an enemy company with our own company will start an RTS mission. Succeeding in this mission will capture the location and force the enemy to retreat. Free roaming enemy companies may also be engaged to trigger an RTS skirmish. Okay, so judging by what they say, it gives me an impression that they have uh, turned like a uh, company of heroes from like an RTS game to uh, a a uh, what's it called a, a more um, macro uh, environmental uh, RTS game, kind of like a Total War. So, for example, like for example, in Empire Total War, uh, say it's about like American independ War of Independence. So, we got all these units just roaming around the map. If they bump into an a uh, an enemy unit, it will trigger an RTS uh, skirmish, something like that. Uh, which I prefer. I would rather if uh, Relic went back the old ways for uh, Company of Heroes One and Two. Okay, select this medic uh, detachment. Move them nearby. Uh, Paul me, Paul me, Leonio, before starting the mission. Detachments can also support companies in the mission. Select this medical detachment. And select select this company. Move them here. Attack the enemy with your company to get a briefing on the mission. Be careful before engaging missions. Having low health can result in negative effects, but the same applies to the enemy. Select one of the anti slobs and fill it with the uh, nearby detach medic detachment. Selecting effectors will grant you additional active or passive abilities in the, in the uh, mission. As a play. We need to take this airfield to stop the Germans from bombing nearby positions.
Wait, please don't tell me that's If you are new end. to Company of Heroes, oh. here are some introductory tips that will make your first mission an operational success. To move the camera, you can hold down the central mouse wheel and move the mouse in the direction you wish to move the camera. Alternatively, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard or simply move your mouse to the edge of the screen. To select a unit, click on them with your left mouse button. The left mouse button is your selection button. You can drag a box around multiple units to select them at the same time. You can also select units in the global unit control in the bottom left of the screen. You can select a squad with a single click of their decorator in the global unit control. Double clicking the decorator will snap you to the squad's location. Once you have a unit selected, you can give them move or attack orders with the right mouse button. Try selecting and moving some units around for practice. Next, you'll want to produce some units. From your barracks, left click on one of the squads in the command card to add them to the production queue. They'll soon be at your disposal. From your HQ, you can build additional buildings, which will enable you to deploy more powerful units as the game progresses. These will be built automatically by your base forces. You will want to use abilities with your units. Select a Rifleman Squad. In the bottom right corner, you will find their command card. If you look at their command card, you will see the Breach ability on the left hand side. Left click the Breach ability, then left click on the house full of Germans to flush them out. The command card is where you will find abilities and other commands for your selected units. Flanking and using cover are the keys to winning engagements in Company of Heroes 3. By keeping your units in cover, they will take far less damage and can stay in the fight for longer. Flanking the enemy gives you the tactical advantage by negating their cover and hitting them where they are not prepared. Your squads will gain veterancy from spending time in combat. When you see a gold star appear above a unit, you can choose between an offensive or defensive bonus in the bottom right hand corner of the command card. These can either be new active abilities or passive bonuses. You should make use of your company abilities to gain the edge in battle. These can be found in the strip menu on the right hand side of your screen. Left click on an ability such as the smoke bombing run, then left click where you want to deploy your ability. To complete the mission, you'll need to capture resources to build your army. Select a squad and move them within a capture circle to start capturing that territory. Once a point has turned blue, it is under your control. When your squads have suffered some losses, you will want to retreat them back to base for reinforcements. Click on the understrength squad, and in the command card, click the retreat icon. Once your squads are back in the HQ, you should reinforce them before bringing them back to the front. You'll find the reinforce ability in the command card. Tactical pause will give you time to think when the action gets hot. Press spacebar to enable tactical pause. From here, you can order the same movements and abilities that you can in real time. You can also queue a series of movements and commands for each individual squad, allowing for precision plays. Unpause to watch your commands play out in real time. Finally, if you want more tips, you should definitely check out the help menu. There's loads of great info here for new players. You'll be commanding like a grizzled veteran in no time. Have fun out there. Objective, this is a critical communi communication I mean communication center and we're expecting it to be heavily defended. Alright, so just listen up. Our target is the enemy air control tower. Before we can move into the airfield, however, we'll need to support nearby Allied infantry who are pinned down. Once they're safe, push for the tower. Report suggests enemy aircraft in the area, so keep your eyes open for striking runs. Godspeed. Jerry's preventing forward scouts from reporting in. Take out the enemy so our boys can do their job. You bet. Get ready. Let's move out. Let's roll, man. Men the enemy hold up in that building are causing us trouble. Get over there and breach it. Nail that fucking Thanks, infantry. Let's get to it, fellas. Reload those cops. Get the enemy. Hey, gonna 
toss a frag into the building. Okay, Pathfinder and the other squad can just can flank around. Okay, we have managed to free the pin down squad. There are still some enemy forces left on the base. Take control of command buildings, and they'll be forced to retreat. But careful, they'll put up a fight. Secure the bazooka. Let's get it done, boys. Grab that hard. We're up, man. Someone grab that bazooka. Okay, men, listen up. Our scouts tell us the enemy is storing sensitive information on this base. Find those documents and prevent them from being destroyed. Well, can't believe even with uh, the uh, uh, meeting engagement RTS uh, skirmish, we still need to build base, or there's a base for us to defend. What's our objective? Ready for deployment, sir. Okay, so now we'll move on. Double time, soldiers. Okay, let's Shot get the pathfinders. We're up. we're up, boys. Squad's back up to full strength. Looks like we'll be working for a living. We're locked and loaded. Let's advance. Ready for deployment, sir. You name it, we'll capture it. What's Start the mission? The Airstrike incoming. Oh, come on. Jeez. On your feet. Let's go. We're up, boys. We're locked and loaded. Grab that thing. All right, men. We're up. Secure that I'm on your feet, men. Okay, let's build a engineer squad. Engineers on the line. Come on, on the double. That's an affirmative. We're a go, boys. Oh, I thought they can build uh, like a what's it called? Observation post to boost the income of the resource point. I'm gonna head north. Okay, let's build a few more uh, infantry squads. Squad reporting. Eyes open, ears up, men. Let's move, move, move. Patrol, men. We're ready to execute our orders. Armory is unlocked. The brand. 
Browning automatic Drive rifle. Comes to work. Head into our destination. Airstrike incoming. Jesus Christ, fuck off. We're all ears, sir. Okay, I, I just hide the uh, defense, uh, like base defense guys into uh, uh, Desperate buildings. times. Find an enemy tank to take it down. Mucking about. We're up. Combat unit ready for action. Orders coming down the chain. Time to work for We're going deep into the line. We're moving out, fellas. We're up, boys. All right, let's move like we got a purpose. That's us, boys. Get your gear ready. Rifle squad awaiting We've orders. Got orders to advance. Let them know we got it. Spread the men out. We're locked and loaded. Submission. You name it, we'll capture it. Let's head out. Okay, gonna capture this. What's it called? A strategic point, maybe? Get on it, fellas. You men, get ready. Order, sir? Come on, men. Let's go. Let's get to it, fellas. We're locked and loaded. We're here to win Ready for deployment, boys. sir. But we've got Point out. We're moving own. to secure a position. Fighters coming in. That. Let's get it. Come on. Let's get this show on the road. We've got orders, boys. Follow me. Come on, ammo. Okay, we're getting order att attacked by mortar. I'm gonna bring up our own mortar. Squad, on me! Let's go! Double cap, Barrett! I think we're up, lads. We're needed, boys. Pay attention. Orders are incoming, men. Let's get going, men. Let's roll, come on! We ain't got all day! Okay, let's check out this building. 
All right, men, we're up. Let's resupply. We're locked and loaded. Get those guns ready. Orders just came in. All right, everyone out. Move it, move it. All right, break out the tools and snap to it, people. What thing? We got our orders. Strike incoming! Let's go. On our way, sir. Time march. I can't keep my damn stock. We've been dry. told wherever needed. Look lively and stand by. Look like trench foot to you. Time to work for Uncle Sam, boys. Got an anti-air gun, so priority is to check out the anti-air. I mean, anti-tank gun. Find cover inside. Go, go, go! Okay, I'll go. I'll get the uh, the Tuka team to take out the bunker.
Enemy cal is on the line. Airstrike incoming. to dispose of all their documents but keep focused we still have an airfield to take oh damn it Coming in, boys. Airstrike incoming. Move your ass. Go. Boom. Paratroopers ready for action. Rifle squad ready for action. Taking cover in that structure. Oh shit, flame for flame for flame for Sniper advancing. Ready for deployment, sir. Let's roll, men. Airstrike incoming.
Looks like we'll be working for a living. Squad reporting. Get ready to kick some ass, boys. We got a mission here. We'll bring it down on that armor. Up on your toes. Move out. Damn it, they took out one of my water squad. Up, man. Back on your feet, soldiers. Look sharp, fellas. We're up. You men, get ready. Grab that mortar, fellas. That's us, boys. Get your gear ready. We got somewhere to be. Incoming. Airstrike incoming. That's us moving out, fellas. Let's get to it, fellas. We gotta get to that point. Let's go. Look sharp, fellas. We're up. So, uh, Let's head out, boys. Crap tonight. Together. Ready for deployment, sir. All right, boys. Advance. We're up, man. Stay man. alert. Stand by. SSF. We've got orders. We're back to We're full strength. We're all here, sir. Let's roll, man. We're back Come on. Let's strike. get this show on the road.
Where's the target? Infantry, garrison that control tower to secure it. Come on, advance! Jesus, how old Mordor just hit our, our guys. Let's get it done, boy. Destroy the tanks patrolling around the control tower. Okay, so now we're going for ten tank hunting. Fine plan. Well executed, Commander. The airfield is under Allied control. With the troops well supplied via the port, the Winter Line will fall in no time. Assuming Buckram's men can stick to the damn plan, of course. Commander, Monte Cassino is ripe for the taking. My boys are ready to punch a hole through the winter line on your command. Special Ops reporting in, Commander. We've made contact with the local partisan resistance. Stand by for intel from their network any day now. This company has earned a registration point for completing the mission. Select them to purchase an upgrade. We got the word, Nelly.
now that we own an airfield, we can get some squadrons up in the sky. So click on uh, the airfield to manage your air units. Okay, I'll purchase uh, some P-47s. Okay, done. Resources are getting, starting to get low. New resources arrive on supply ships every three days. Bonus resources arrive with each shipment. The more few depots, position table, and port to control. Click next, press next day to get your resource shipment. We must stay vigilant. An enemy company is threatening to take the airfield. The tutorial is complete, you can now move the camera around by using arrow keys, edge panning and little mouse button. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in or out, press the question mark on the top right of the screen to learn more about the features of the campaign map. Alright, so uh, I'm going to call it a day, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you around for more campaign uh, gameplay. And of course, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.